Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. In today's video, I'm going to review my new CalPak lunch bag. I did a review on the CalPak backpack, which I'll have linked right up here. I got um, pretty good feedback on that video. I did have somebody ask if it was insulated and if you can kind of use it as a lunch bag. And I don't, I'll put snacks in there, but I don't put anything that I want to keep cold. But I did buy the lunch bag when I bought the backpack and this is basically what I use to take my lunch. I got it in black. I did see that they just came out with a brown, which I kind of wish I bought, but whatever. Black is timeless, so I do like it. You can hold it like a little purse and it scrunches at the top. And then when you open it up, it looks like this. So I'll start off with, you know, the basics. This is $42. Is it a little bit pricey for a lunch bag? Maybe. But I didn't want to get like one of those basic igloo ones that are like $20 and the inside insulation part always ends up ripping and getting nasty. So I did want to spend money on a better quality lunchbox that won't break and like last for a while, which there's no guarantee that'll be the case. But based on reviews, it seems like a good bag. So there you go. It measures like seven inches this way, nine inches this way. It's 10 inches top to bottom. As for like pockets and things like that, there is a front pocket here that I don't ever use. I don't really know what you would use this pocket for. And then there's one on the side as well. This one seems a little bit more secure because it has like this ruching or this scrunch here at the top. Whereas this one's just kind of open. So I don't really use this one at all yet. And this one you can find on both sides. So this side has a scrunched pocket as well. So these two on the side are pretty good. And then on the inside, there's a pocket right here, which I also don't use very often. The insulated part is also black, which I like. Um, and as a design factor, I like that it's not like that silver. It's just cleaner, it's sleeker, it looks better. There is no zipper on the top, so you're relying just on the scrunching. I will say I really like this part of the bag because I just kind of feel like when I open it, that it feels heavy duty. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like this part might get loose or stop working as well. Like it tightens pretty tightly. And when you open it, you can feel that. You feel like that pressure. So no worries with like flipping it upside down and things falling out or anything like that. One of the biggest selling points for me was I wanted a lunchbox with a flat bottom. You see, everybody's gonna want different things. But for me, I do a lot of meal prep. So I wanted a Tupperware to be able to fit in here. The ones I was using before didn't, but I just bought some glass like Pyrex ones that I'm gonna start using. And those do fit in here comfortably. So I like to put that at the bottom. I have not used it for work yet. That is something I'm gonna start doing. I started a new in-office hybrid job today. So I will start using this um, with ice packs and having food in here for a long period of time. But usually I'm just going from like, you know, my house to my boyfriend's house or to my parents' house. So I don't need to like put in an ice pack and close it. I do believe with like how tight and like how good this is that it would keep things cold, but I will have to give another update on that piece in the future because I haven't tested it with an ice pack all day, but I can show you an example of like how much would fit in here. So let me grab some stuff. So this is a good example of the amount of stuff I would put into the bag. So I would start off with my meal prep if I had a meal in here and I put this at the bottom. And as you can see, it fits really nicely in there and I still have plenty of space. On top of that, I'll then put, I've been using these little zip tops for snacks. So I'll put that in here. I don't portion out everything. So I'll just put my whole bag of nuts in here. And then I have a protein shake. These are great. I get these at Trader Joe's or canned dolmas or grape leaves. And then an avocado. Let's say I wanted to make some avocado toast or put it on top of my meal. Just place that on the top. So still have plenty of room. The lunchbox isn't that big. You can see it like in front of my body. It's not huge, but it's not too small. It'll hold a lot of food. I don't worry about it being too heavy. I don't worry about things spilling because you know you're tightening it. It's hard to make a review on a lunchbox because I just feel like everything is very common sense. It's not as intricate as the backpack, but uh, that is pretty much it. I do really like it. I Like I said, I feel like it's secure. The bottom is padded. It just feels really heavy duty. And yeah, this is what I'm going to start taking with me. I don't think it's like the cutest lunchbox in my opinion, but that's, you know, personal preference, but I still like it. I'm glad I got it. The only like downsides I guess I have are that there's no zipper. Like I do find that kind of weird, but again, like I don't worry about that. Like everything is fine. And then I don't see the point of this pocket or even the one on the inside. 
so that's kind of strange and then the last like con was that depending on the size of your tupperware you're not gonna be able to fit that at the bottom so i did have to get new tupperware but again that was something on me because that's like the size of tupperware i had you know a lot of people may not even use this for tupperware but those pyrex like standard size glass ones will be like as big as you can get in here like flat on the bottom um so just keep that in mind all right, so that is my review on the CalPAC lunch bag. Again, it's $42. I'll have it linked down below. I'm not affiliated or getting anything for this video. I hope this helps in your decision if you're thinking of buying it or if you already did and just kind of want to see what you're getting. Um, I love doing that, so totally, totally get that. Um, nonetheless, thanks for the support. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.